Okay, students, we've got the race to the finish part one. It's the ramp. And so I'll be drawing and doing some sample calculations here so that we can work out our um, prediction on how to set everything so that our two cars, the one on the ramp and the one being pulled by the pulley, will reach the same point at the same time. Okay, so let's start with a ramp. What is important about this ramp is the angle here, and there's going to be a cart here, and this distance. So we're just going to assume that we want the front of this car to strike a wooden block or something at the end of the ramp. So here, I'll, I'll extend it here. So now we have this distance D up the ramp. We also have our starting distance H, our starting height H, and this is going to be different from the starting distance D, okay? But you see that I've drawn a triangle where D is the hypotenuse, H is the height, so it's one of the legs, and then theta here is the angle of incline. So of course if it was just flat, right, then gravity would be downward, normal force would be upward, and the cart wouldn't move. And then at the at the highest angle of 90, right, gravity would be downward, and normal force, which should be away from the wall, is actually zero. And so you would have this full acceleration of gravity. Okay, so acceleration is zero here, and acceleration is equal to gravity, or 9.8. So between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, you're going to have some form of acceleration that's between 0 and 9.8. Okay, uh, so what exactly is that going to be? Let's draw a, a few other triangles. I'll, I'll keep working on this side here. Okay, so just to exaggerate, we have this angle here, and we have this cart. Right? And gravity is acting on the cart. So there's a force here called mg, uh, force of gravity. So F sub g is equal to the weight, mg. And the cart isn't going to move straight down because there is a ramp in the way. And this ramp provides a normal force perpendicular to the ramp itself. Okay, so normal force would be at a 90 degree angle, like that. So the normal force is at a 90 degree angle to the force, uh, no, 90 degree angle to the ramp surface, right? And then using these two, <clears throat> using these two arrows, you will actually get a net force down the ramp. So how do we know that? If I drew mg and drew it down this way, and I combine the two, mg, or the force of gravity, is the hypotenuse. Normal force is one of the legs, and the net force is actually the other leg. Okay, so we have gravity downward, mg. We have normal force kind of upward, so normal force, and then our net force, let me see if I can use a different color, F net is down the ramp. Okay, so F net is, sorry, F net is different from normal force, so even though they both start with N, N for normal, N for net, you have to keep them uh, separate in your mind. Okay, so the next thing is finding the angle, okay? So uh, from the book, uh, if you skip a few steps, you'll find out that F net is just equal to mg sine theta. But I'll walk you through the actual derivation of it, so hopefully I can do this in one go. We know that this angle is theta, it's the angle of incline, and we can measure this. Okay, we can measure this, and if we have 
a triangle, a right, right triangle that looks like this. Okay. And this is theta. Then we know that this angle is 90 minus theta. Okay, so this angle is 90 minus theta. And if this is straight up, right, and we draw this line, oops, let me draw this line. We know that mg, or sorry, f net is parallel to this angle, so this is 90 minus theta. All right, so let me let me start over so that it, it's cleaned up a little bit. Okay, so we start with the ramp. Start with the ramp. We know that this is angle 90 degrees, and we know that this is theta. And that means if I draw another vertical line, this is going to be 90 minus theta. I know that gravity is going to be downward, so this is force of gravity. And along this angle is going to be my net force. And then perpendicular to the ramp is normal force. Because it's perpendicular to the ramp, it's going to be 90 degrees, and this angle is the same as this at the bottom of the ramp is going to be 90 minus theta so therefore this angle is theta okay so how does that help us at all how does that help us is mg is the hypotenuse and that helps us determine whether or not or whether our f net is mg cosine theta or mg sine theta so if you did sokotoa right sokotoa or the cat sat on it, orange, and hurt himself, okay? It should be sine is opposite over hypotenuse. If this is our angle, this is our angle, then F net is opposite. So it would be sine theta equals um, F net divided by mg. So F net equals mg sine theta, sine theta, okay? So there's uh, there's probably an example or some, some more information in your textbook. You can also search online for these other tutorials that kind of lay out the geometry and drawing triangles. But the main thing is this angle is the same as this one up here. And that helps you determine F net. F net is mg sine theta. So I know it took a lot of steps, uh, but you don't have to memorize this if you know your geometry, if you know a little bit of trigonometry geometry, okay? All right, so mg sine theta is your F net, but if the cart is the, cart is the same and we don't need m, we can just talk about a acceleration is g sine theta. All right, and we can double check this. Sine of zero is zero. Sine, sorry, sine of zero is zero, and sine of 90 is one. Okay, so we, we just double check that. Okay, so the next thing, let me erase a few things, give myself some space. All right, the next thing is starting at a certain distance above, uh, up the ramp, we can now calculate how much time it takes for the cart to roll down. Okay, so what does that mean? That means we can use our kinematic equations. I think the one we can use is d equals one half at squared. Okay, because we know a, we know d, a is 
mg, sorry, a is g sine theta, not m. a is g sine theta, d we measured, it's something that we can measure and adjust. And then t is what we're solving for. So what do we do? t then equals 2d over g sine theta square root. Okay, so you can change d and you can change theta. All right, distance up the ramp and angle of incline. You can change distance up the ramp and angle of incline to adjust t of the ramp. Okay, of course, the longer the distance and the greater the incline, they are inversely proportional, right? So as in, you start, you increase this distance, right? The farther up the cart is, the longer it will take to roll down. And the bigger the angle, right? If you increase this angle, it's going to accelerate faster and it's gonna take less time. So that's our, that's our race to the finish ramp. That's the car and the time it takes for the car to reach the bottom of the ramp. Okay, all right, next we're gonna take a look at the pulley, the car being pulled by the pulley.